get the T, it doesn't matter what T, sit back, relax, and let's have together this T. We started uh, drinking tea or when we discover a new type of tea we're really eager to try more of it and uh, we go in different sites we catch different teas of that specific category to understand the tea better and better and better and that's certainly a viable method of uh, discovering and learning about uh, a specific tea but another way of learning about the tea category or of learning about tea in general is just to focus one's attention only on a specific type of tea and so today when uh, I came back home went out for doing some sport I came back home was pretty tired uh, it has been uh, a tough week sport wise and I just felt like uh, having uh, a tea and relax and then I thought that the importance of really spending time with the tea and uh, so I went uh, here in the cupboard I have just uh, in the living room with uh, a few different teas uh, that I need in the next days and I look at it and just took the first tea that was up there on the rightmost stack uh, of pouches, Jinshu and Dark. So it is, uh, as uh, the name say, a Jinshu cultivar, and it is uh, fairly dark. So I expect a dark roast out of this tea. But I've never tried before, and so I thought that uh, today and in the following days. I will just keep on drinking this tea to learn it better because sometimes uh, we are in a different mood sometimes well it's just uh, the wrong day sometimes we make the, the wrong choice when we prepare the tea the tea changes continuously and our perception of it changes and we improve brewing a tea the more we brew it and the more we do mistakes and we, the more we experiment depending on uh, how do we feel in that specific day it's so sweet like sugar cane mm. haven't been using this Ishin teapot for a while my teapot for Taiwan Oolong So it was a good, uh, good choice that, or fade that uh, the pouch of tea was right there on the top. Oh, I'm really tired. Looks very pale and fairly clean. 
Like the smell. So clean. The leaves are just opening up. Well, hmm. maybe it's rather oxidized than roasted, just by the look of the leaves. Let me know in the comments below what tea have you chosen for the session. Mm. And if you have more in the pouch, I really suggest to keep on drinking that tea, only that tea until the pouch is over and uh, focus on learning that tea more. Learn from your brews and uh, try to brew it too perfection but you know it's a relative perfection not an absolute perfection perfection in the sense that it has to be perfect for that specific moment and the way you feel you can brew tea in many different ways and all those ways you may like or may like not depending on your mood mm. right now I definitely need something warming both um, temperature wise to really <laughs> heat up my body but also mm, also in terms of uh, strength I'm recording on a Sunday afternoon and that's exactly the feeling I have Sunday afternoon You might, for example, not liking poor. And you may remember that at uh, a certain point you just bought one to try or a friend of you sent a pouch over or you were drinking with others and uh, they, had a, they had a poor and I don't know, it's like, uh, was this bitter thing? Mm way too strong, uh, you really didn't get what people like in that specific tea, poor in that case can be also anything else. Well, why giving up? Why should you really stop drinking the tea? Because you just you didn't like that very first time. Take the challenge buy a pouch of that tea and try to understand what people like it so much in it and I make just the example of poor because it's tea that is not easily accessible taste wise it takes a while to get into it but it can be anything else you know um, tea that are very difficult to brew like danzong and that are able really to reward you only if you if you master the tea. Mm. 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 Oh, I'm really, really happy about this thing. I wonder what can I do better? Like it is just perfect, yeah. But maybe it will be the other way around. Maybe I prepare the tea in a moment when uh, it doesn't feel uh, as good as now. So I can, you know, that the learning process is not be the other way around. Sometimes, and it happens often. You have you have just a magic moment 
and then uh, you get back on the tee and it's really difficult to find uh, that moment back so learning how to actually go back to that very first moment uh, is uh, is even a, a, a greater challenge actually than starting low and raising up your understanding of the tea. Mm. This is just the first room. I feel like a little bit hungry, but at the same time, I don't know if I want to add food to the tea. I would really have to think something that matches to perfection again hmm. I didn't really have lunch today I had a big breakfast it's 5 p.m. when I came back home I had just a little some vegetables that I had left with some bread but just very little No, I gave up. I think I will wait a little bit to add some food to it. I think this tea deserves to be drunk alone and enjoyed alone for a little while. It's really windy outside, there are things flying around on my balcony. Hmm. Now it's got um, that um, sweetness um, is transforming into savoriness, if that's a word. Hmm. Like, yeah, cane sugar sweetness moving into honey sweetness but not the overly sweet honey it's difficult to say <laughs> hmm. Sometimes there are even teas that we fear to brew that uh, we let just other brew and it's understandable on one side but um, yeah but if we take the time to experiment we can be very rewarding actually to master a tea. So this, um, this approach can really be used um, on uh, different types of tea. It can be a tea that you particularly enjoyed and you want to learn better. could be a tea that other peeps are able to brew to very, very good level, but uh, you're a little bit afraid, you, you don't think you are as good as they are. Or there might be a tea that you just don't like and uh, you want to 
I'm not saying that you want to like it, but you want to understand why other people enjoy it. That, at the very least, it's something that uh, uh, everyone should be able to do, right? And it's opened up a lot our mind as well. This helps a lot also when drinking tea with others, that uh, we sit together around the table or we just discuss with people that have been drinking the same tea. You found it awful. We're saying, oh, let's say you, you had the shoe poor and it tastes just earthy, tasteless, uh, I don't know, old, maybe even stale. And you say, what's the point? Yeah, never ever again. And then you hear of other people actually that they had the same shoe and they found it uh, extremely mild and soft uh, and gentle and round uh, and with the special texture that it feels like milk in your mouth and you say texture i even didn't think about texture when i was drinking it so awful was the taste so yeah give it a second a third a fourth try yeah not necessarily to ending up loving it but at least to understand all those points of all those other people because i tell you one more i mean most of the time it's not always the case but most of the time is not a bad tea it's just that you don't like it yeah every time we don't like something it's that something being wrong could be us being wrong right like a kid he doesn't like fish is the fish bad <laughs> i'm not but there is a certain tendency in the tea world and not only of attributive adjectives to the tea and not to how we perceive the teas, right? We should maybe start giving adjectives to ourselves. Maybe it's me being sweet today, not the tea. Hmm. Abba, I told you now is losing sweetness, so because the end of the weekend is approaching, so I'm also less sweet. Hmm. How should I proceed with this tea? Certainly there is something to learn. I really love that first brew, but I would have preferred to maintain a tiny bit of that sweetness also in the, or a tiny bit more, not that it wasn't sweet, but more sweetness in the second brew. Maybe the steeping was a tiny bit too long. My bad. I decided to get up and check if I can get a snack. So bad choice. Now I'm keeping it shorter. Should maybe take some of the stuff that I put on the balcony back in before things fly around downstairs to people or to the cars on the street. I will do it late. Well, mm. Still hot. I wait a little. Let's see how it tastes tomorrow at breakfast. Certainly. I will be in a very different uh, state of mind and also just energy level right after a good hopefully good sleep start of the day so yeah i think i will still keep using this teapot and maybe reserve the guy one for a later try or maybe even western style you know i don't do a lot of western style tea 
and maybe with this tea I will give it also a try to experiment a tiny bit also with that why not? Mm -hmm. yeah definitely the steeping time influences a lot uh, the sweetness it is sweeter now than the second one so mm. there is a a magic midpoint there in somewhere in between um that depending on how i feel more sweetness or more savory I may tune it the other way or the other. So look at the leaves, I'm curious. Ah, oh, well, it's, I mean, they call it dark, it's not that dark. They call it means we call it, but that's how also the farmer designated. Well, it's certainly darker also in the brew, it's the darker tinge of yellow than uh, the classic. Um, or modern, not classic, but modern style. Jin Xuan. These leaves has a little bit here of oxidation on the tip and some markers in the center of the leaf, but all in all, it's fairly green. Hmm. Maybe it has been roasted, but only lightly. All right, I have uh, the right inspiration for a good snack that match the tea. I'll get it and then I'll tell you why. This is um, those are um, well, it's written here. For in German it's Vollkorn Nuss Stengeli. Actually, that Swiss German even. Thousand languages on here, except English. So it's a whole weed or a whole flower nuts bars. And it's fairly neutral. I find that um, nuts really go well along with honey. And since this tea now, it has really that honey profile. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's not covering the tea at all. It's even enhancing the tea. Mm. Also because the temperature lowered down a little bit. I'm checking if uh, there is. Um, oh, it's not. I wanted to check if they have honey as an ingredient, but there is not. I would bet. I would have bet there is honey. Hmm. Several more floral. I didn't put tons of leaves inside. Hmm. I don't know. Go by feeling. Hmm. Wow, that sweetness is back. It's back. It's all about temperature also. The tea cools down, and that sweetness of the very first brew is just there.
doing cleaner now. Ah. Oh, this morning was such a bad weather. Rainy. <clears throat> now it's just perfect. I should actually go out again. But I will not. Change when dark. It's a new tea actually. <clears throat> we didn't um, had this tea in the years before. Mm. We cooperated with this farmer already. He's a student of Atom. But uh, that's the first year <clears throat> they proposed us <clears throat> the dark version of the Jinshuan, and I was curious myself. Um, yeah, I think good choice. Hmm. What is the tea that you like the least? Let me know in the comments below. I want to see if there is a general trend about that. The tea that you like the least. I already see some of you saying green, some others saying poor. Those that say green been those that like poor. Those that say poor been those that like green or light oolong. And that's the place where you should start from. For example, you don't like green tea, it's springtime. Green tea can be really difficult to brew good to, to brew well so um, take the challenge try to get the most out of the green tea some uh, <laughs> about a year ago i was chatting or now i had a call with uh, william from uh, farmer leaf and uh, he told me he doesn't drink green tea because yeah he doesn't like green tea but then I find interesting that when he was here, um, he asked me, yeah, give me some green tea. And it was before the new tea arrived. So it was tea from the past year or maybe even before, but he enjoyed that. And then he had uh, a morning session with green tea. And uh, yeah, you know, I think uh, the, the, the thoughts he had were somewhat on that line, right? It's not that Yunnan lacks of, uh, green tea but of course if you are a poor producer and you're into poor and now william is also expanding or he has been expanding for a while also into oolong and uh, black tea and i think uh, i think uh, that might have been his thought you know let's challenge let's see what we can get out of green tea let's see if i can enjoy green tea and, uh, and i think he did he did really a nice post then on instagram the next day So I hope this was a little bit uh, mm, of inspiration for you. I will certainly keep on drinking only this tea until I finish it, which will be challenging. It means I cannot have more than one tea in a given session. Otherwise I have to drink twice the same tea. But uh, yeah, um, I'll certainly discuss it on uh, Discord, uh, how, how the next brew go and if I really get some improvement. I definitely want to do better that second brew and uh, well if you don't know what is discord it's the link is in the the description below it's a tea community online uh, where we exchange information we do a tons of things on discord we exchange information about tea we um, have a lot of uh, video calls where we drink tea together or tea classes we um, uh, or 
actually everyone else helped me in selecting T or NT, proposing teas that they want to try. Uh, Sometimes I find a new artist, I send over some picture of the new artist and people tell me if they like it or not, if I should go for it or not. Yeah, so if you want to participate in all of that, uh, it's really growing very well. We are about nearly 500 people. But it's not overwhelming, it's, uh, it's really well under control and very friendly. So, so happy that uh, I started that with the pandemic. And say that uh, if you are on Discord, comment below. If you are on Discord, please, please, please add a comment. I am on Discord, join the community. I'm sure that many of you that are on Discord are also following the YouTube channel. So show out that uh, there is uh, a community there and they can be profit from um, from the exchange. It's so nice. Mm. And saying that, I'll continue drinking my tea and I hope you'll continue drinking yours. So happy tea moments.